Shh, guys, makeup, clear, wardrobe clear. Wardrobe guys, clear. One sec. Here we go, right away, guys. Everyone's ready. Give me a thumbs up over there. Yeah. Just keep in mind that she's gone, right? Ready, and action, action, pause, pause, pause. Okay, it's day one for the production of Heist. It's very cold, it's very wet, but the rain has stopped. The sun is starting to come out, so I think we're gonna get started. As you can see behind me, we have a whole bunch of Porsche cars, and we're getting ready to drive these things out onto a dam. Once we decided to, um, to go to the big game, we knew that we needed a commercial that's worthy of the, this very big event in the US. Uh, and it had to be worthy of Porsche too. And we wanted to make it fun. And that's why we decided, let's take a series of iconic Porsches and race them and have them race each other. We very quickly set uh, in the location, we, we thought it has to be filmed in Germany. That's the home of Porsche. That's where the museum is with all these jewels. That's where Porsche was basically founded. The heist obviously is composed of uh, quite a few interesting cars of our past. Uh, one of them, the 918 Spider, the super sports car of the last decade. Uh, and the Taycan is in the same heist uh, with that car, being chased by it. The Carrera GT, the decade before that, the super sports car, uh, very emotional, very visceral. It's my favorite. Um, and it's the favorite of many other Porsche enthusiasts. A 917K uh, that was built purposely for 1971, the Le Mans 24 hour race. So all these cars are basically the shoulders of our brand that this brand then sits on and stands on. And that's with the Taycan, of course, it um, is not allowed to step back uh, even an inch of those heroes that we see in the heist. You can jump into the 992 or Taycan, turn the key and here we go. Um, but to fire up a, a 917 or an old RSR, there's a lot of pre-work. You, you need a lot of technicians, you need special technicians to work on this car. And it's, you have to handle it very careful, you have to work with it, you, have, you need a sense for it. That's why we have a special driver like Lars Kern, the former works driver from Porsche. He's the, the only one who can drive this car on, on sets like this because it's not a race uh, situation. Normally these cars are built for hit the throttle and go as fast as you can. And here you need timing, uh, keep your distances. Obviously it's creative and uh, all of a sudden somebody says, oh, don't go from left, don't go, go from right. The timing and everything, so that's pretty, pretty hard. Let's not forget the 917 also doesn't go backwards because it doesn't have a reverse gear because you don't need that in racing. So imagine every time you had to reshoot, you had to pull back the car manually. So we've got a Russian arm today. We're going to be using that to film some of the chase sequence. Behind me, you can probably see a drone. That's one of the cameras we're going to be using. We're actually going to be shooting the finale of the commercial where you're going to see a car that has an e-brake come out and cut off the stolen Taycan. So it's going to be a big moment. Woo! That's a special car. Not just any car. It's the bad boy car. Yeah, when I say bad boy, I don't mean from any bad boys, but the bad boys. You know? Will Smith and Martin Lawrence. So right about now, I'm just... I feel like a little kid in a sweet shop right about now sitting in that car, I'm telling you. How cool is it that we have the Bad Boys 3 car in there um, with the modified handbrake? I think Andre particularly had a lot of fun with that. Handbrake, handbrake! <laughs> Here we go, wait guys, wait, wait, wait. Cass, wait for my action, please. Here we go. Here we go, we're set! Ready, and action, action! Fire, fire, fire! ready to shoot one of the ending scenes where the Schlepper Tractor is going to finally catch up with the rest of the chase. It was the very first opportunity that we had to see what the cars can do and not do. You have to imagine it was the very first time we had these 10 cars together. Cut, cut, cut! Very nice. 
Day two of the heist. Today we have beautiful weather. It's a little bit cold, but we're hoping that it warms up throughout the day. Right now we're shooting a sequence on the dam. It's gonna be the ending shot where our thief drives the Tycon onto the dam, reveals that he's actually one of the security guards. It's gonna be a pretty cool sequence. Who wants to be the bad guy next? I'll take that, thank you. You're welcome, bad guy. What? So we've got about 80 crew members today. We've got eight Porsche cars, five actors. So it's gonna be a good day. Oh, set. Here we go. Watch your radios. Ready and action. <laughs> I got <gotcha>. you. <laughs> Who wants to be the vet guy next? What? That looked right. What you just did, just make that your turn. No, not this. I'm oh. saying that little. You like her. Yeah. I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Just like okay, right? Just let just let her pick it, right? I got you. <laughs> Who wants to be the back cat next? Cutting, cut. Reset. Towel, dry off the top of the car, yeah. car please. We just want to keep speeding these up, yeah? Okay. Oh, yeah, Ready and action. Day three of the heist shoot and we are at the museum. We've been able to shut down the entire facility so that we can do an overnight shoot both inside and outside. So we're going from sunset to sunrise. Right now we're inside. We've got fog machines, we've got lights. We're gonna film this really cool sequence where the Porsche Taycan gets taken from an exhibit and the guards start freaking out. We're gonna see them jump into these really cool Porsche cars and go after the car. I'm sorry, I'm gonna just get into my spider. I'm gonna remember that! Wait, wait, which car should I drive? You got this one. very special about our car collection is that most of our cars are still in running condition which means we don't actually use the cars only in the exhibition we use it all about all around the world our concept of the museum is not that we just have artifacts that sit there and you can look at them uh, the, all these cars you can actually drive uh, and the cars that you see in the spot are actually cars that were part of the exhibition of the museum yeah we would highly appreciate if you could bring back the cars <laughs> My car. My car. Your car. Look at you. See that? See what you just did? Oh. Yeah. You can do it again. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Alright, day three of the heist, we just wrapped. We had a very long day. It started at 5 p.m. and at 5 a.m. So it's 5 in the morning, we're cold, tired. <laughs> and then we're ready for tomorrow. We shoot in, I think, less than 12 hours. Back at it for day four. We are in the Schlossplatz in Stuttgart, Germany. Today we're going to be filming some interior shots of the drivers, the security guards who chase after the Taycan. Behind me you'll see a green screen. We're going to set up the cars, the actors, and we're going to get some great performance shots out of them. Celine is our hero female um, security guard, but she's also an amazing driver. I mean, she's the one that grabs the GT2 RS, and you can see it throughout the spot. She wheels that car with authority and precision and confidence and all the things that um, all of our female Porsche drivers possess. Uh, women are the better drivers, don't you think so? Um, yeah, that's my opinion. But um, we'll see. Here we go, from the top. So working with the whole cast and the whole team in general has just been amazing. We kind of all fit, everybody's found their own little characters and we're working on this action movie. So the first day I was on one cup of coffee, second day two cups of coffee and now I think it's my tenth. Let's go again. Just start trying to put yourself in that loop, right? We should because the idea is they, they come and they are all still in a race. And then they approach here, they see the cop cars, the cops are in lunch. Hard break. Like, hard break and then like super slow. And they see the eyes, flashlights are coming in and hello, you know, 21, 23, 24, and then they accelerate. We took all the cars to the Schlossplatz, which means really Palace Square in downtown Stuttgart. And we, usually it's an area where you cannot drive. And of course, some of the cars cannot also be driven on the road, so we needed special permits to, to drive cars like the 917 on the Schlossplatz. So we had forbidden cars in forbidden places. We only have a couple hours of nighttime left before the sun comes up. We still have about four shots left. Everyone's tired, but we're excited because uh, this thing's gonna look fantastic. Ready and action! Big challenges about Heist is such a huge production. Uh, six days, we're in about five locations. We've got green screen work happening today, just like we did yesterday in a different location. So we're gonna have two crews going today at the same time. We've got a, our first and second unit parallel passing to make sure that we get all done in one day. We've got a very busy day today. Speed. Speed. Here we go, and action guys, we're driving straight, five. Four, three, two, one, break! Now turn that, now see how you get, you just turn that into a smile, let it, let it grow. Like a little mischievous, yes, like that, right? Alright, here we go. Break! Resetting, reset. So when we came to Heidelberg, we decided to use one of the most iconic elements, uh, landmarks of Heidelberg, which is that famous Roman bridge that was built like 2,000 years ago. And the bridge is normally closed down to traffic. They opened up the bridge for us to be able to drive with our Porsches. And believe it or not, this made the local news in the newspapers. Those crazy guys from Porsche. <laughs> all these cars up and run that drone one more time and make this shot right here. Uh, day six of the heist, last day of shooting. Uh, we're in the village of Heppenheim. Tycon's gonna take the cars, the museum cars, through the village. It's gonna do a 180 and it's gonna do this awesome nose-to-nose -nose sequence through the village right by a bakery. Inside there's gonna be a little uh, bakery woman who's got a bunch of pretzels. 
The essence of the Porsche tractor, of course, is that up until the 50s, the 1950s, Porsche was producing more tractors than sports cars. And at one moment of time, we had to decide, are we going to be a sports car manufacturer or a tractor manufacturer? And I'm very happy it went the way it did. Oh, turn set. Here we go. Watch your radios. Ready and action. Choreography was extremely complex with so many cars and so many variables, uh, but we worked with Uwe, which is someone that we've been working with since 2006, so he's been an, uh, an instrumental part of the Porsche team for a long time and he has a lot of experience. <laughs> Okay, day six in the heist. Uh, we just wrapped in the town of Heppenheim. We've got the last shot in just in time. As you can see, the sun was setting, so it was a full day. So it was a great day, a lot of challenging shots, but we had a great crew with us. We got it done, and uh, that's a wrap on the heist. This commercial basically <clears throat> involved more than 110 people, a mixture of a US and German team with a German stunt coordinator, and we needed local help, of course. It took five days to shoot, but we actually needed a total of six because we had to take a weather day. Maybe the most exciting thing about this whole project was, it, it was almost surreal. And just the fact of going to the Super Bowl for a small company like Porsche, that is huge. It's something that happens every 20, 25 years. But we almost had to pinch ourselves sometimes and look at each other and say, are we really doing this? It's a, it was an amazing project for us. Something that we'll be proud of for the years to come. If I may sum up the spot, or introduce the spot, uh, I think it's uh, almost like a pop culture, fun, thrilling experience in different cars uh, from our past uh, that played an important role in our history so far. Uh, to actually convey the idea that every Porsche is iconic. They are all unified in having a soul. And the soul of the Taycan is now electrified. And this builds a connection with a new generation and new audiences. I'm sorry, I'm gonna just get into my spider. I'm gonna remember that! Wait, wait, which car should I drive? You go, this one. My car. My car. My car. My car. Let's go! Please tell me you saw that! Christa kann jetzt schon sehen, Jeff Das ist echt fantastisch. Let's go! Oh, it's a beautiful day for a car chase! Feel the beat, set to me, courtesy of Wimmer G. Feel the queen, feel the beat. Who wants to be the bad guy next? I'll take that, thank you. You're welcome, bad guy. What? Guys, we gotta talk about the rules here. When we get back, we're having a meeting. Yeah. Let's go. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> 